All right, everybody knows about Noah's Ark, but do you guys know about the Dark Ark? This Ark has all the evil demons, unnatural bees, stuff like that, that has to survive as long as well with Noah's Ark. So let's take a look. All right, so we have the Dark Ark by Colin Bunn. All right, so here, this is the entire series. This collects Dark Ark issues number one through 15, Dark Ark after the flood, one through five, and the 2020 uh, free comic book day issues Dark Ark Instinct. So here's the back. So this one was actually really cool. This is a, uh, I, I guess you would say it's a horror in a way, but the I read the first three issues, I believe, and the, the premises of this story is um, you can read the introduction right here. If you want to pause the video, stuff like that, here's the introduction. It basically tells you the premise of the story. But what it is is there, there's Noah's Ark. You know, you have to go into the Ark. He saved one of, was it one or two of everything? Two of each animal, a two, male and a female. Yeah, two of each animal. And this one was the same thing. Um, but it's called the Dark Ark. So you want to save all the unnatural beasts in here, uh, all the demons, stuff like that. That way they could, you know, come back to the uh, earth and rule and mess mm. with people as well. And then you, there's also some humans in here, some unicorns that were unfortunate because they didn't get picked up in Noah's Ark, but they want to survive. So and then they're in this Ark as well. So it's very neat. So like, the, the, main, the head of the ship, he's a sorcerer. He's supposed to be like super OP, really strong. Uh, he's a regular human though. And he has a family that he wants to protect right here. And there's a lot of uh, like uh, what's it called, who done it type of scenario. Like this person died, right? They somebody killed him, and they're like they're all trying to figure out who killed this person. Uh, or Naga, I think it was a Naga. Ah. Yeah, who killed this Naga? So there's a lot of who done it in here, like a lot of drama basically. Um, uh, the the evil people trying to pit against each other. There's vampires. They're trying to like yo, the vampire killed him because you know vampires hate Nagas and stuff like that. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting. This is basically where I stopped off on. Um, I think it, it will it'll be great for the holiday, for the Ox October Spook Fest, Spook uh, Spooktober season. Um, very neat. I I that was like, how come I never thought of that thing? Like man, Noah's Ark. Okay, yeah. cool. And let's yeah. slave all the demons and stuff like that. Very neat. I thought that was a really interesting idea. Uh, the first three issues did not let me down. It did hook me. I wanted to read more, but, you know, there's, like, too many issues in here. I have to read all these books now <laughs> to give you guys a, uh, a pretty insightful um, premises of what these books are about. Since I had the feedback, you know, you're like, yo, I want to know more about these books. Read it. And I was like, okay. I, I, read, I, read, I read a little bit. <laughs> David's going to start reading them too, the first two chapters, stuff like that. So yeah, we'll so, have more of that for you guys. There you go. And then we have pretty cool intros. Let us know what you guys think about the new intros now, about the you know informative reviews, stuff like that. Is it helpful? Does it give you a better decision if you want to read it or if you don't want to read it? Because we want to improve. And then the only way to, to improve is for you, you guys to let us know. All right, so here is the back as well. It has all the cover. The... A lot of cover gallery. So this is the entire thing. I don't want to spoil it for myself, yeah. so I'm trying to not to see the end. There we go. The <laughs> end's right here. All right, so you have a lot of cover gallery in here. If, you, if any of you read it, definitely let me know. Is it a good read? Is it a must read? Is, is David going to pick this up and finish it for me type of read? <laughs> What are you reading for October anyways? Like Halloween, you said you're reading yes, a lot of Yes, I am doing a uh, top 10 stories. It'll, it'll be one per, to count down till basically Halloween. And it's just, uh, I'm doing not whole big stories. It's really just small ones. So for example, from American Vampire, I'm doing the, uh, the origin of the main character, or the main vampire, which was written by Stephen King. So I'm actually really excited for that. So it's just little stories and it's going to be almost like, a bedtime story. You're gonna you're gonna hear David read it for you and, and show you what it looks like. Yeah. So stay tuned for David's Spooktober Halloween event, and you can pick this book up at OrganicPriceBooks.com. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.